Welcome to the riveting world of Highway Patrol, a classic 1955 TV series that captured the essence of law enforcement in an era of black and white screens. As we delve into the compelling narratives and characters, one can't help but wonder, out of the many roles in this series, which one was your favorite? Or perhaps, is there a particular scene or moment that has left a lasting impact on you? But before we open the floor to your reflections, let's set the stage with some random facts about the show. Highway Patrol, known for its no-nonsense portrayal of the California Highway Patrol, featured the stern yet charismatic Broderick Crawford as Chief Dan Matthews. The series, characterized by its straightforward storytelling, quickly became a staple in the realm of crime dramas. Now, we invite you to share your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this iconic series. Did a specific character resonate with you, or was there a moment that stayed etched in your memory? We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. So, buckle up for a journey down memory lane with Highway Patrol, a series that not only entertained, but also reflected the challenges faced by those who patrolled the vast highways of California. What anecdotes do you have to share about this classic TV gem? Let the conversation begin. In the TV series Highway Patrol, the opening credits feature a 1954 Lincoln Capri convertible approaching the checkpoint, while the two Highway Patrol cars stationed there are 1955 Buicks. This attention to detail reflects the show's commitment to authenticity. Despite the common belief that the program portrayed the California Highway Patrol, a few instances in the series suggest otherwise. For example, in Season 2, Episode 12, titled Stolen Car Ring, Matthews explicitly mentions being from California and just passing through. Similarly, in Season 1, Episode 6, titled Hitchhiker, a robber from New York City leaves a trail of robberies and remarks to his wife that California is a long way off. However, later episodes like Season 4, Episode 20, Mexican Chase, and Season 4, Episode 28, Illegal Entry, reveal that the state in question shares a border with Mexico. This narrows down the possibilities to Texas, New Mexico, and Arizona, eliminating New Mexico due to its use of a state police agency and Arizona due to its all-white highway patrol cars. Texas is ruled out based on the distinctive hats worn by highway patrol officers. These details add an intriguing layer to the show, raising questions about the true identity of the depicted state police force. The meticulous use of period-specific vehicles and costumes, coupled with subtle inconsistencies, creates an engaging backdrop for the series. In essence, Highway Patrol, beyond its thrilling highway pursuits, holds subtle mysteries about its setting, adding an unexpected dimension to the viewer's experience. The deliberate inclusion of authentic elements and occasional discrepancies contribute to the show's unique charm, leaving audiences with more than just high-speed chases. In its initial seasons, the TV series Highway Patrol garnered strong support from the California Highway Patrol. The show's commitment to authenticity was evident as actual CHP squad cars, specially designed Buick Century two-door sedans, were used. These cars, equipped with generic logos to conceal the real CHP emblems, reflected the meticulous attention to detail. Uniforms replicated the khakis worn by the CHP, including the state seal and the slogan Eureka, emphasizing the pursuit of authenticity. Dan Matthews, the lead character, adopted the real unit number of then CHP Commissioner Bernard Caldwell as his call sign 2150. The show's commitment to realism extended to avoiding scripted brand names for suspect vehicles, referring to them simply as a green coupe or a tan station wagon. Midway through 1956, the CHP withdrew its support due to differences in storylines and presentation. The production company faced the challenge of securing an incorrect Buick Super four-door hardtop for the remaining season. Although accurate squad replicas were ordered for the 1957 season, subsequent seasons saw deviations from reality in the depicted patrol cars. The show's authenticity also reached the level of details like trailer hitches on squad cars used for towing film equipment trailers. Notably, Chief Dan Matthews concluded radio transmissions with the expression 2150 by adding a touch of realism to the character. Crawford's son once owned the original patrol car, but its current status remains unknown. The series left an indelible mark with its commitment to realism, accurate portrayals, and the genuine support of the California Highway Patrol. 
Although not given specific screen credit, the California Highway Patrol played a crucial role in shaping the authenticity of the 1955 TV series. In the show's inaugural season, they provided technical advice and supplied all patrol vehicles, ensuring accurate depictions of their squad cars and uniforms. This collaboration highlighted the commitment to realism, setting the tone for the entire series. The influence of the CHP extended beyond the screen, contributing to the genuine portrayal of law enforcement in the iconic production. As viewers tuned in, they witnessed not just a scripted drama, but a reflection of the real-world partnership between the California Highway Patrol and the creators of this classic series. Isn't the car that kills, it's the driver, a quote from the series, encapsulates the underlying theme of responsibility and accountability. This mantra, woven into the fabric of the show, adds depth to the narrative, emphasizing the human element in the high-stakes world of Highway Patrol. Each episode becomes a canvas where characters grapple with the consequences of their actions, resonating with viewers on a profound level. This impactful quote serves as a constant reminder, transcending the screen to echo the moral core of the 1955 TV series, leaving an indelible mark on its legacy. The closed captions for the show describe the theme music as victorious music, setting the tone for the series and enhancing the viewer experience. This musical choice not only adds an auditory dimension to the show, but also aligns with the triumphs and challenges faced by the highway patrol officers. The iconic theme becomes synonymous with the relentless pursuit of justice, creating an emotional connection with the audience. The use of victorious music underscores the resilience of the characters, making each episode a gripping journey through the highways and byways of law enforcement. In conclusion, whether it's the behind-the-scenes collaboration with the California Highway Patrol, the thought-provoking quote on responsibility, or the victorious theme music, the 1955 TV series elevates the police procedural genre. The intricate details and impactful elements contribute to its timeless charm, making it a standout in the landscape of classic television. Each facet, from technical accuracy to thematic depth, showcases the dedication to creating a series that transcends mere entertainment, leaving an enduring legacy in the realm of television. As we part ways on this nostalgic journey through the winding lanes of Highway Patrol, take a moment to stroll down Memories Avenue. Your personal connection with this timeless 1955 TV series is more than just a passive viewing experience seats, a tapestry woven with threads of excitement, drama, and the unmistakable charm of an era gone by. Remember the gripping moments when the screen flickered with the pursuit of justice and the relentless dedication of those who patrolled the highways. Those were not just scenes unfolding on a black and white canvas. They were echoes of an era that resonated with the pulse of a generation. Perhaps you find yourself drawn to the rugged determination of the characters, the visceral thrill of the chase, or the subtle nuances that made each episode a masterpiece. Whatever it may be, your connection to Highway Patrol is a bridge connecting the past to the present, a reminder that stories told with heart are the ones that endure. In this digital age, where the present often eclipses the past, take a moment to share your reflections. What's your fondest memory? Which character left an indelible mark on your psyche? We invite you to contribute to this collective tapestry, weaving your thoughts and memories into the rich fabric of Highway Patrol's legacy. Your voice adds a unique hue to the canvas of nostalgia, and your stories are the brushstrokes that keep these vintage tales alive. Let the comments section below become a gathering place a haven for enthusiasts to share their insights and anecdotes about this classic gem. Thank you for embarking on this journey through the highways of memory with us. Your time and interest are cherished, and your reflections are the fuel that keeps the flame of nostalgia burning bright. Until we meet again in the corridors of reminiscence, happy travels, and stay tuned for more timeless tales.